Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review of the Samsung Galaxy A3 smartphone uh, which is the uh, smallest of the Galaxy A lineup. Uh, now, I already done a full review of the Samsung Galaxy A5 and uh, a comparison with the A3 you can check out my channel. So, uh, A7 will going to be available for about uh, one week from now. So, we have to wait for that. Uh, but anyways, this is the A3. This is the small version, of course, of uh, the, uh, all the A series, the smallest one. And um, the best thing that is, or uh, best thing that I like on all these A3 smartphones is their design, and uh, which is extremely great. So uh, Samsung has used a metal frame on uh, all of these A lineup smartphones. Uh, you can see that we have now the metal premium goodness all over and then also the back is made of aluminum so there is zero plastic used and uh, and on the top we do have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack now it's moved down to the bottom now uh, right on the side we can see that 3.5 as I said, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with the charging port and then also um, on this side we have the power button which is very easy to use uh, to reach and use uh, with one hand and also due to this metallic uh, frame you'll have some good friction with your fingers and this metallic frame so the device will not slip out of your hand uh, that is the thing that I noticed with the iPhone 6 uh, the slipping issue so um, this is pretty much uh, easy to hold and it also has that grip and also if we talk about uh, the camera on the back we have an 8 megapixel camera on the back uh, you can see it also just a little bit popped out of the body and then the flash here and then also we have the speaker and below here we have the Samsung logo and duo so you can see that this is a dual sim phone and on this side just below the power button we have the memory card and the um, sim card uh, tray option to insert sim so that is the full design of the phone and the volume rocker of course on the left so and it's not on the same path so power and the volume rocker are on the different uh, sides and volume rocker is a little bit uh, on the top but still it's easy to reach so this is a uh, phone with a not so big screen uh, so still a lot of people out there would prefer this screen over the other Samsung Galaxy A series smartphones so if we talk about the screen this is a 4.5 inch screen uh, with 540 by 960 pixel resolution which is of course in non HD resolution and then also uh, this also having a PPI of uh, uh, 245 which is not that bad uh, depending you know the quality and all that and despite that it is not uh, a 720p HD screen or any HD screen is still very sharp. I'm not sure if you can see it through camera, but it looks really, really great. I, you know, compare it side by side with my Galaxy S3. It looks fine uh, to me, and uh, I'm not sure you can see it through camera, but it's still really awesome. Uh, no problems with the screen and all that. Uh, it is good, of course. We have to consider the price and all that. So this is, uh, I've talked about the price. This is available for 35,000 rupees, which is a uh, three fifty dollars uh, in my country Pakistan so if you want to get it you can get it it's available right now uh, but anyways if we talk about the uh, weight and the thinness or thickness of this device this is extremely thin device 6.9 millimeter uh, thick very slim so below 7 millimeter every smartphone looks extremely uh, slim so it has a 110 gram of weight and it's like you are holding nothing in hand it's so much so much lighter and uh, and of course that is a plus point for this device you can hold it uh, without any problem it doesn't feel any uh, weight or heavier or anything like that and it's shape uh, boxy I really do like it uh, with this premium metal and aluminum finish so design wise and everything I will really give you like 9.5 out of 10 so that would be great uh, so if we talk about the software so this is running Android version 4.4.4 KitKat if I quickly show you that about device uh, Android 4.4.4 KitKat um, probably going to get the Lollipop update I'm uh, going to get the Lollipop update for all the Galaxy A series smartphone the A3 the A 
um, uh, A5 and the A7 pretty soon. Uh, now, if we talk about uh, the uh, processor, we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 processor inside of this device, which is a 64-bit, uh, same as the Galaxy Grand Prime. Uh, it also has 1.5 GB of RAM, and then also it has the Adreno 306 GPU for the gaming and all that stuff. So I'll be done a full gaming review. Check out my channel. Um, so uh, let's check out the software here. So of course, if we hold down the screen, we do have now the theme option. Now here we have the uh, bunch of different theme. Uh, you can use the Suite, Craft, uh, Samsung Basic, which is the default theme. By the way, you can check out the natural one. Click here and then apply. You will have that theme here. And then also, if we hold down the screen again, you can uh, have the uh, wallpaper option where you can uh, check out different wallpapers. We have the live wallpapers. Uh, no, no live wallpapers. You have download there. I uh, haven't downloaded any live wallpaper, but we do have the wallpapers here from Samsung. Really nice. Really neat and clean wallpapers there. And of course, you can scroll there. We have the Google Now option and the time and the. Uh, um, if I add the city, I will get the weather updates and all that. Uh, of course, I disable the uh, home magazine or Flipboard, maybe. If I go here into the theme section, maybe. Um, no, there's no option there. Uh, I think it's default disabled on the A3. It is uh, available on the Galaxy A5, but not on the A3. So Flipboard or whatever magazine, my magazine or whatever the... Uh, news feed it is disabled on the on the side so you can see I'm going to scroll unlimitedly uh, unlimitedly unlimitedly so uh, we have this contact apps uh, which is uh, default contact app and uh, also we have the phone dialer and then the messaging uh, the keyboard is actually pretty easy and pretty good uh, to use you can see that you can quickly type and all that so it's basic Samsung keyboard there internet browser same browser app for uh, the Galaxy smartphone we have this same app here and you can see that uh, this is how the app drawer looks like so basic touches app drawer uh, you can quickly go here into the uh, this uh, button here if you click here you get these options here to uninstall the app to make for folders and all that uh, this is all the notification area looks like. Now we don't have any further button for uh, expanding the notification, but you can add it more into the settings. So we have only uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we have the four, uh, five, and notification quick, not uh, quick uh, settings uh, actually available um, for your device. So five only, and no more. Like we've seen on the other Galaxy phone, we have a lot of uh, uh, a lot of quick settings. Uh, in the notification center so if we go here into the settings we have so you can see that we have the white background pretty neat and you can quickly um, scroll down up and down so there are no tabs um, like we've seen on other Samsung devices so it's pretty clean pretty straightforward um, so one of the best thing is that it comes with the ultra power saving mode even though it's of course a mid-ranger device you can say but it does come with the ultra power saving mode so that is a good thing and uh, which will going to help you to have more battery if you have some emergency and all that storage wise it comes with the 16 gigabyte and it will uh, going to be, you know give you a 12 gigabyte of almost uh, user storage to use and then also um, nothing that much interesting uh, as far as setting goes so uh, very fast I haven't seen any kind of lag it is extremely fast I should say that word uh, I haven't seen any lag whatsoever. It is very fast, very well optimized. I'll be doing a quick uh, speed test and uh, more tests compared to my other devices. So we're going to check out more um, tests there. I've only done a benchmark video. You can check my channel out. Uh, so uh, let's get down to the camera app quickly. So we have uh, the default camera app here, which comes with the default features. If we check out here, 8 megapixel camera, not that uh, bad. Uh, take photos, of course. You can uh, also turn on the flash. Uh, you can take the photos with the flash. And you also, we have this quick option to check out different scenes. We can also call the video. If you go here into the settings, we do have again the flash button. That is weird. Then we have the timer. They, they can add um, any other option here instead of flash. So we have the flash here. So. 
But anyways, we had this uh, megapixel changing option. You can also go here into the more settings where you can mess up with the, the video size, the recording mode. You can also uh, limit for MMS, but there's no slow motion or fast motion recording, so that is a not that great thing. So some normal options, ISO, white balance, and, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, if we do uh, go here into the uh, video size, uh, this is this can only record a 1080p video, so of course no 4K. Um, and then, then if you have the micro SD card, you can select the storage option. Then you, if you go here into the front facing camera, hey boys, uh, you you can see that this has that palm selfie feature. I'm not sure if, if it's going to work like that. Uh, but I will, be, I will be doing a quick uh, tips and tricks video. I'll be just demonstrating that. But anyways, uh, you can have this palm feature. Show your palm to the camera to take picture automatically over f uh, after four, uh, two seconds. So let's see if it's going to capture or not. Okay, so it does work, but what the hell? <laughs> it will going to take the photo of my hand. I'm not sure. Uh, but maybe it's just because it should it should work like this okay it's not taking photo let's try it again okay it's, it's again not working but anyways so I'll be doing a, a more detailed uh, review of tips and tricks we are going to do that but anyways we do have more options here um, some beauty options then also we do have the settings uh, option here you can see that by default it is set to 3.7 megapixel you, you have to set it to 5 megapixel in order to get full advantage of the camera full advantage of the front facing selfies so palm selfie enabled you can turn it off you don't want to use it then tap to take photos video size that is a great thing there 1080p HD video using the front facing, front -facing camera that is awesome. I'll be making a quick review for that pretty soon. Camera test coming tomorrow. Some other stuff that I really don't care about. So some basic settings. So, uh, so this the, this is the camera app. Not that uh, much of a great features there, but front facing camera is really, really good. So this is how the multitasking area looks like. We don't have the card based notification. Of course, this is KitKat, and you can also quickly close everything. Uh, up with this button. Now, lastly, if we talk about uh, the battery inside of this device, so this is uh, coming with a uh, not that bad battery, 1900 million hours. It will give you a good battery life uh, because it has a non HD display. And as far as my uh, usage and all that, I've seen that this device is getting good uh, battery actually. So there's no fast. Uh, drainage of battery, so uh, I think it's really, really good and really satisfied at the moment. And um, and yeah, I really uh, do enjoy this device and uh, uh, using this device. And uh, I give this device uh, for about like 10 out of 9. Yeah, that would be good because most of the people they want messaging, they want phone, they want just normal usage. Uh, out of their device, but this device will give you that. On top of that, it, this device will give you an extremely great look, extremely great premiumness, like the iPhone has. So Samsung has definitely done a great job with this device. So if I miss anything, if you want to do and want to know something specific, just comment down below. I'll answer that and make a video for that, a specific video for you guys. If you want to see, uh, comment down below. And um, I'll make some comparison with the Galaxy A5. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you next one. Peace out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share, and subscribe.